All right, this one's gonna be on a script I created for um, multi-disc games. That we can do a playlist out of it. So if you ever play uh, PS One games, um, you know they usually have multi-disc games. And if you play it on an emulator, um, and you have save files, it's kind of a tricky thing to do if you don't have a playlist, right? Because um, you know the save files will be based on the game name and if you have disc one disc two uh you know that's a different name for you know for the same game and it doesn't work that way and usually people have to rename the save files and stuff like that or maybe the, the game name um which is not what you want to do so most of the times they'll recommend you to create a playlist uh with you know all your discs inside that playlist so that's what we're going to do but I am too lazy to do it manually, especially if I have, you know, uh, well, I have the whole set of the uh, the PlayStation. So that's why I'm doing this script here. Anyways, uh, there's two options with this thing. One option is just to create the playlist. Another option is to uh, create a folder and then put all the, um, you know, multi-disc uh, games inside the folder and then create a playlist also. But I'll show you both, right? So the first one is usually what people do, uh, which uh, most of the guys I, I've seen, that's what they do. They, they create the playlist only. So I'll show you that right now. But you can see in here, uh, we have a bunch of games. Some of them doesn't have multi-discs, right? So this one has two discs. Uh, this one has two discs. And uh, what's that one here? This one has three discs, right? Uh, so on and so forth and some of them have different revisions here. So this one you see has revision one revision one and this This one here and this one here is like the OG uh, It will detect those right no problems uh, Some of them are CHDs and some of them are you know bin queues here, right? So basically what the script does is that it's just going to detect the ones that has this one in the file name here So you see in, uh, in uh, was that the uh, quotes not quotes, uh, in brackets, not brackets, uh, what do you call that? Uh, parentheses, all right. Uh, you see, it'll detect all these ones that has this one in the parentheses. And based on that, it'll create a playlist uh, for it. So the first option here, game, well, I call the script game to uh, M3U. And I'll give you like uh, the help page that I wrote in here. But basically we have two options. One of them is uh, dash D and this one will create a directory and a uh, M3U playlist. And the most common one that people usually uh, wanna do is just create the uh, M3Us only. So this one just only creates the M3Us uh, in the same folder, right? So we'll do that one first here so you can see the difference. So the first one, we're gonna do uh, game to M3U. And we're just gonna do a dash M here. Make sure you're in the same folder, of course, right? So we do a dash M, and basically what it's gonna do is that it'll create an M3U. Let me um, filter it out here. M3U. Let's see here. M3. Okay, so you see it creates the uh, M3Us of our our um, multi disk. So you can see here, this one here. See, so it has all your uh, multi disk inside the M3U. So that's a quick way of doing it. Uh, if you have like, you know, your whole set and you don't want to do it manually, that's one way to do it. But uh, usually what I do with multi-disc games is that, um, let me do that again here. Let's delete this here. Usually what I do with multi-disc games is that I actually create their own folders and, um, you know, send it all in their own directory. So that's what I'm gonna do with the dash D next. Um, and this one will create the folders, move it in there and create the M3Us, uh, you know, in the current folder. So you can see all these uh, folders are created and you can see that um, inside it are all those uh, either CHD files or whatever the format you have. Uh, it supports a, a few other formats like uh, PVP and all that. So you can see here, even the different revisions, um, it'll be a separate folder for each one of them, right? So there you go. And as far as the ones that doesn't have a, um, what's that, uh, disc one in it, like this hardball five here, it's just a single game. It doesn't have multi disc and then it will not move. It will not do anything to it, right? So it actually detects those. 
So some of these other games, like this uh, demo game here, see it doesn't have multiple discs, so that's why it doesn't do anything. Um, uh, same thing with this one here, this uh, Bin and Q. This one is a single game. There's no multi-disc, so it doesn't really do anything. Right. Anyways, it only moves the uh, the uh, multi-disc games inside its own folder, and it creates the playlist for it, right? So these are the playlists. This is what it looks like when you have a directory. Uh, what was that one here? So what was the other one here? So there you go. That's the directory. Anyways, uh, I'll give you an example of that in here in the, um, you know, little help page here. So basically, if you're doing the dash D option here, uh, you have your files, right? And then from here, it'll create the uh, M3U for it. And it's gonna create the uh, folders, and the folder names will be, uh, you know, we'll get rid of the disk one and stuff like that for the folder names. So this one here, it don't say uh, disk one or anything like that. I just, you know, have the uh, base name of it. All right. Um, and as far as the M3Us, uh, it really doesn't do anything besides just creating the M3Us, right? So this is our original. And this is what it's going to create the M3 use, and it'll get rid of you know the um, what is that the extra disk one, disk two, whatever it is for the name uh, of the playlist. So there you go. Anyways, uh, if you're using this on RetroArch, you know you just basically RetroArch, load up your game, and then you hit the button for the quick menu. Usually, if you have a uh, was it the Xbox 360 controller? It's the guide button. You know, the, you press that, and you have the quick menu, and then you do go to disc control. And if you need to switch the disc, then they'll show you how to do that in the disc control option. Right. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the script. If you want to use one or the other, um, those are the two common ones I've seen on the guide. So that's why I create a script based on that, and it can do that for you know. Uh, all your your files at one time instead of wasting your time doing one by one that I see most guys do anyways I got really lazy of doing it one by one so that's why I create the script and if you want to use it also and there you go now this one does work with um, what was that uh, you know a PlayStation as a PC engine you know a bunch of Dreamcast you know uh, Sega Saturn whatever it is basically any uh things that you want to do that has multiple discs and you want to create a playlist uh this one will work with it now some of the extensions i uh put right now is just uh, you know the q gdi chd pvp because that's like the most common one but if you have like other uh extensions that you want to include in it and then you can actually just uh edit the script which um what's the script is that game to m3u so all you gotta do in here, where the hell is that one? Our extension. So if you want to add more extensions that you want to include in this, um, you know, uh, you can actually just add another pipe sign and uh, type whatever extensions that you want to use, and it will detect it and then um, it'll create the uh, you know playlist for it. Anyways, that's it for the script. Um, What's the requirements for this? It's just basic stuff like core utils, find utils, and set. That's it. Um, link will be in the description from the script if you want to use it. Um, you know, it's the quickest way that I know of um, to do this. That'll be for this one.